Goats, like all livestock, are susceptible to various parasites that can significantly impact their health and productivity. These parasites can be a major concern for goat farmers, as they can lead to a host of problems if not properly managed. These parasites, often unseen by the naked eye, can wreak havoc on a goat system, leading to a range of problems from reduced weight gain and milk production to severe illness and even death. The damage they cause can be both immediate and long-term, affecting the overall well-being of the herd. Understanding the threat parasites pose is crucial for any goat owner. By being aware of the risks and taking proactive measures, farmers can help ensure their goats remain healthy and productive. Parasites can be categorized as either internal or external. Each type requires different management and treatment strategies. Internal parasites, such as worms and flukes, live inside the goat's body, often in the digestive system, lungs, or bloodstream. These parasites can cause significant internal damage and disrupt the normal functioning of vital organs. External parasites, like lice, ticks, and mites, live on the goat's skin and feed on its blood or skin debris. These parasites can cause skin irritation, infections, and other external health issues. Both types of parasites can cause significant discomfort and health issues. The constant irritation and stress from these parasites can lead to behavioral changes and reduced quality of life for the goats. The impact of parasites on goat health cannot be overstated. They can lead to a cascade of health problems that affect the entire herd. They weaken the immune system, making goats more susceptible to other diseases. This compromised immunity can make it difficult for goats to recover from other illnesses and infections. Parasites also compete with their host for nutrients, leading to malnutrition, weight loss, and poor growth. This competition for resources can stunt the development of young goats and reduce the overall productivity of the herd. In pregnant goats, parasites can affect the health of both the mother and her offspring, resulting in weak kids or pregnancy loss. This can have a significant impact on the future of the herd. Recognizing the signs of parasite infestation is essential for timely intervention. Early detection can prevent the spread of parasites and reduce the severity of their impact. These signs can be subtle, especially in the early stages. Regular monitoring and thorough inspections are key to catching infestations early. Keep an eye out for symptoms like diarrhea, weight loss, a dull coat, anemia, pale gums, bottle jaw, swelling under the jaw, and a general lack of energy. These symptoms can indicate a serious parasite problem that needs immediate attention. Early detection and treatment are key to minimizing the impact of parasites on your goat herd. By working closely with a veterinarian and implementing a comprehensive parasite management plan, farmers can protect their goats and ensure a healthy, thriving herd. Internal parasites, primarily worms and flukes, pose a significant threat to goat health. These parasites can cause a range of health issues, from mild discomfort to severe illness, and can even be fatal if left untreated. These insidious invaders reside within the goat's body, often in the digestive system, where they consume nutrients, damage tissues, and release toxins. This can lead to malnutrition, weight loss, and a general decline in the goat's overall health and productivity. Understanding the different types of internal parasites and their life cycles is crucial for effective control. By knowing how these parasites live and reproduce, farmers can implement targeted strategies to reduce their impact. Among the most common internal parasites affecting goats are roundworms, tapeworms, and lungworms. Each of these parasites has unique characteristics and requires specific treatments. Roundworms, as their name suggests, are cylindrical worms that can grow to several inches in length. They are particularly dangerous because they can cause severe damage to the goat's intestines. They primarily infest the small intestine, where they interfere with digestion and nutrient absorption. This can lead to symptoms such as diarrhea, weight loss, and a weakened immune system. Tapeworms, on the other hand, are flat, segmented worms that attach themselves to the intestinal wall. They can grow to be quite long and can cause blockages in the intestines. Lungworms, unlike the other two, 
reside in the lungs and cause respiratory problems. These parasites can be particularly problematic in young or weak goats. Infestation with lungworms can lead to coughing, difficulty breathing and increased susceptibility to pneumonia. This can be especially dangerous during colder months when respiratory issues are more common. Flukes, another type of internal parasite, are flat, leaf-shaped worms that typically infest the liver or rumen. They can cause significant damage to these organs, leading to serious health issues. Liver flukes can cause significant damage to the liver, impairing its function and leading to a condition known as bottle jaw, characterized by swelling under the jaw. This condition can be very painful and debilitating for the goat. The life cycle of these internal parasites varies, but most involve the ingestion of infected larvae from contaminated pasture. This is why managing pasture hygiene is crucial in controlling parasite infestations. The larvae develop into adult worms within the goat's body, where they reproduce and shed eggs that are expelled in the feces. These eggs then hatch into larvae, continuing the cycle of infection. These eggs then contaminate the pasture, continuing the cycle of infection. Regularly rotating pastures and maintaining clean living conditions can help break this cycle. Understanding this cycle is key to breaking the chain of transmission and controlling internal parasites in goats. By implementing effective management practices, farmers can protect their herds and ensure the health and productivity of their goats. External parasites, though often less insidious than their internal counterparts, can still cause significant discomfort and health issues for goats. These tiny creatures live on the goat's skin, feeding on its blood or skin debris, and can transmit various diseases. Recognizing the different types of external parasites and their impact is essential for effective control and management. Lice, small, wingless insects are a common external parasite of goats. They have piercing mouth parts that they use to suck blood, causing irritation, itching and anemia. Lice infestations are highly contagious and can spread rapidly through a herd, especially in crowded conditions. Ticks larger than lice are arachnids that also feed on blood. They attach themselves to the goat's skin and engorge themselves with blood, often going unnoticed until they are fully engorged. Ticks can transmit a variety of diseases to goats, including Lyme disease, anaplasmosis and babesiosis. Mites, microscopic creatures related to ticks, can also cause skin problems in goats. Some mites burrow into the skin, causing intense itching and hair loss, a condition known as mange. Other mites, like the seroptic ear mite, infest the ears, leading to irritation, head shaking and ear infections. The presence of external parasites can cause significant discomfort and stress in goats. Infested goats may rub excessively against objects, bite at their skin and experience hair loss. The constant itching and irritation can lead to secondary bacterial infections, further compromising the goat's overall health. In the ongoing battle against parasites, goat owners have a range of tools at their disposal, from natural methods to chemical treatments. Each method has its own set of advantages and challenges, and often, a combination of approaches yields the best results. Natural control methods, often favored for their environmentally friendly approach, harness the power of nature to disrupt parasite life cycles and create an inhospitable environment for these unwanted guests. These methods not only help in maintaining the health of the goats, but also contribute to the sustainability of the farming ecosystem. Rotational grazing, a cornerstone of sustainable livestock management, plays a crucial role in natural parasite control. This method is not just about moving goats from one paddock to another, it involves strategic planning and timing to ensure that pastures have enough time to recover and break the parasite life cycle. This practice involves dividing pastures into smaller paddocks and moving goats between them regularly. By doing so, farmers can manage the grazing pressure on each paddock, allowing vegetation to regrow and reducing the buildup of parasites in the soil. 
By reducing the time goats spend grazing on a single pasture, rotational grazing minimizes their exposure to parasite larvae that accumulate in the feces. This method also promotes healthier pastures as it prevents overgrazing and encourages a diverse plant community. Diatomaceous earth (DE), a natural powder made from the fossilized remains of diatoms, single-celled algae, is another effective tool in the natural parasite control arsenal. DE is valued for its non-toxic nature and its ability to target a wide range of pests without harming the environment. DE works by physically damaging the exoskeletons of insects and other invertebrates, including parasites. This mechanical action makes it difficult for pests to develop resistance, unlike chemical treatments. When sprinkled on bedding, pastures, or directly on goats, Delaware dehydrates and kills parasites on contact. This makes it a versatile tool that can be used in various settings around the farm. The effectiveness of DE lies in its mechanical mode of action. Unlike chemical treatments that can leave residues, Delaware works purely through physical means, making it a safer option for both animals and humans. The sharp edges of the diatoms cut through the waxy outer layer of insects, causing them to dehydrate and die. This process is quick and efficient, providing immediate relief from parasite infestation. DE is safe for goats and other livestock when used correctly. It is important to follow the recommended guidelines for application to ensure the safety and well-being of the animals. However, it's important to use food-grade DE, as other grades may contain harmful contaminants. Food-grade DE is specifically processed to be safe for consumption and use around animals. Incorporating rotational grazing and diatomaceous earth into your parasite control program provides a two-pronged approach. This combination leverages the strengths of both methods to create a comprehensive and effective strategy. Rotational grazing disrupts parasite life cycles by minimizing exposure, while DE acts as a natural insecticide, killing parasites on contact. Together, they form a robust defense against parasites, promoting healthier goats and more sustainable farming practices.